So if you visit Peru, you're definitely going to want to visit downtown Lima and Chinatown. Peru was the seat of the Viceroy of Peru. I would definitely recommend getting a guide. You can find English-speaking guides, or you can do the tour in Spanish if you understand Spanish. It helps the economy if you hire a guide, and then you're not wandering around without a clue. Of course, if you like to wander around and not know what the buildings are about, that's fine too. It's a pretty place. When I lived in Lima, I did not visit downtown Lima very often. From my place in Miraflores, it was about an hour by taxi. Not very far, but the traffic was pretty epic. I would recommend going on a tour of some of the old houses. Try to get on a tour where you get to visit the House of Aliaga, which is the oldest house in Peru. It is open for tours, but you have to arrange it. Then you'd get to learn all about staircases, why only certain families had staircases in certain places. There are some walking tours you can also join for a recommended fee. And of course, there are many churches and cathedrals you can visit. Not too far away from downtown, from the central plaza, is of course Chinatown. The Chinatown in Peru is, I think, the second oldest Chinatown in the Americas. The first being in San Francisco in the U.S. The Chinese population has influenced Peruvian culture immensely. It's completely normal for Peruvians of all kinds to eat fried rice or to eat Chinese food, American Chinese food, just like in the U.S. Between 3 and 20% of Peruvians are of Chinese descent or have Chinese blood in the mix.